talk about being in the right place at the right time. There are thousands of fish coming up the river right now. Oh, I think he's got it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, jumper, baby. Get him, buddy. Oh. Well, good morning and welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Let me shut my headlight off here. And today we're chasing coho salmon, baby. Looking for some fresh cohos, Greg. It's right, dark go, out. Coho, smoko, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get. I got one, baby. Got one, Greg. Thank that you. didn't take long, brother. You just changed that spinner up, too, guys. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful chrome coho on the chartreuse spinner. Oh, where's he going, Greg? Oh, he's coming at you. Oh, I'm right. Get in the ball. Hey, hey, hey. Well, first one of the morning, baby. Look at the fish jumping out there, guys. Oliver's just going crazy. And we have our first fish of the morning on the chartreuse spinner, baby. Yeah, baby. Good just job. put it on, too, man. Nice. First cast. Oh, Greg, I just had four of them chase it. Oh, my God. Guys, look at all the fish. Oh, my God, dude. Four of them came out chasing after it. And, yeah, they, they were nose on the spinner all the way to the bank, but they didn't bite it. We're getting them figured out, guys. We're getting them figured out, baby. On the spinners, I just had one too, and Greg's got another one. The guys, there's so many fish coming down right now, and they're just crushing these spinners. We figured out what they want. Look at that big chartreuse spinner just pegged in that fish. There we go, buddy. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Oh. All right, all right, guys. Good job, brother. Nice, nice, guys. Look at that big chartreuse fire tiger spinner, baby, on the Oz. <laughs> <laughs> got one, got one, baby. Nice, Craig. That's. Oh, look at this, guys! Beautiful male coho. That is a gorgeous fish. And in the net. Oh, popped off in the net too, dude. Popped off in the net. Lucky there, bro, or what, man? <laughs> look at Oliver. Okay. Nice job, Greg. That's a beauty. Nice mail. We got chrome on the rope, baby. Chrome. These are some groceries, guys. It does not get any better eating than these fresh chrome coho, and we're happy to have them. All right, guys, I'm going to switch up to a little bait here. I'm going to float these fresh coho eggs underneath of a float and see if I can get one to bite now that it's getting lighter. These fish are getting pretty finicky. They're starting to get a lot of pressure from other people, as you can see. So they're starting to not react to our hardware. So I'm going to throw this stealthy float fishing rig and see what the heck happens. Bombs away, baby. Ollie, what do you think, Ollie? That is a beautiful coho, guys. Look at the camera in focus. Nice job, Greg. Greg's on fire this morning. I gotta Just get my lucky. stuff together. <laughs> Look, it's like they see the bobber from 20 feet away and they just wheel the other direction. Oh my god. Oh, Look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> Look back, my shit was gone. <laughs> I get in bites, I can't hook them. There we go. There he is. There he is, guys. Oh, jumper, baby. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, for as many fish are out here, I'm telling you what, we have sure been humbled, but we're getting a few bites. And as you can see, this one absolutely choked those salmon eggs down. Oh my gosh. Big one, big one, big one, big one.
There's one. There's one. Nice one. Nice coal, guys. Nice one, baby. Look at Oliver's getting fired up. Look at that nice, beautiful coal. Oh my gosh, look at all these fish coming down right now. Look at all these fish coming down. This is insane. What a scrappy, scrappy fish. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Got him, baby. Nice, nice. Oliver's all about that one. He's like, that looks like dinner if I've ever seen it. Okay, look at that, man. That is just a beautiful Michigan coho. It does not get any fresher than that. And I can't wait to put this sucker on the grill later if I don't lose him, drop him back in the water. Fish coming up. Gosh, guys, look at this fish right here. Oh my gosh, just a big buck. Oh, that is too cool, man. Oh, my there we go, guys. There we go. Dang, guys, what a crazy day. This fish is insane. Look at this fish. Look at his big, gnarly hook. Look at his big, gnarly hook jaw, man. That is just another beautiful fish. I think he's got it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, jumper, baby. Oh. Oliver, stay in the boat. Oliver, stay in the boat. <laughs> Gotta keep him in the boat, guys. Keep him in the boat, baby. Keep him in the boat. Keep him in the boat, bud. Huh? Bush is baked oh, yeah. beans, dog. Yeah, see, that skein was only size of a, a sack. Small Just sack. Tiny, tiny little piece. That's after it was bit probably like three times. And another one bites the dust, baby. Bites the dust. Da -da -da. Da -da. And the Detroit Lions even won. <laughs> Last night, baby. That made her day. The Lions won. We got coho. Life can't get any better, man. Well, this is just so this is just so cool. This guy's actually a big fan of the channel, and we let him fish this hole with us. And he is hooked up in the kayak and it is towing him around, baby. <laughs> that that is just so cool man i love seeing people catch fish now we come out here to greg's bobber let's see if we can get a bobber down hold them up hold them up, hold them up hold for them up, us buddy. nice oh. <laughs> nice yeah buddy that's, Thank you. that's a beauty Oh my gosh, guys, another beautiful chromie, baby. Another beautiful chromie. Look at this. Baby, this fish absolutely choked this skein down. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you here what we got going on. So we have a little ball of fresh coho eggs, and we're taking them in a snell loop. We're putting them on our hook just like that, and we have it set about three foot deep underneath of our float, and we're going to float down through this hole, and hopefully I can show you how we're catching them. Let's get out there. Now I understand because when I was looking at this hole for the longest time, it was just dark and black mm -hmm. and it was all fish. Yeah. And now it's clear. Yep. Oh my gosh, I just got bobbed. There we go. There he is. There he is, guys. There he is, baby. There he is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a nice fish right here. This is a nice one. Let's see what we have. That might be one of the bigger ones of the day too. That's a nice big male, guys. Okay, we're gonna get him in the net here. There we go, baby. Nice big male. Nice big male. All right, guys. Check him out, baby. Look at that beautiful male coho salmon, and we're gonna return him. Like deer meat for dinner says, one's always got to go home. And that's a great one to put back to the system. Big male, can have some great genes to reproduce, hopefully. Look at that little skipper, a little feisty rascal and mixed in the midst of all those hungry sharks in the hole. Good for him, man. Good for him. I love the spirit. <laughs> There's one. There we go. Look at that thing just rolling. Oh, jumper, baby. Oh my gosh, look at all those fish sharking around, guys. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. This is just a cute one. This is a nice little, nice little eater coho, but we're gonna let him go. <laughs> what is 
that, buddy? What is that, buddy? Oh, okay, guys, check that out. <laughs> All right, well, that was a perfect example on how to catch a coho salmon on a float. And we're gonna send him back, and there he goes, back to join the group. just an incredible day. I don't even know what just happened, man. We had some phenomenal action. That was a memory that will last a lifetime, but now it is time to head back to the house and get these babies cooking. I cannot wait to get them on the grill. Okay, so we're just getting our salmon dinner going here tonight, guys, and I'm gonna share with you just a really simple technique that I like to do with my grilled fish. This is one of my favorite methods, and uh, I'm gonna show you how easy it is here. So the first step is I'm gonna take the pin bones out of this fillet here. So we'll come down, and we'll come right to these pin bones. I'll show you with my fingers, and you'll be able to feel them. They run all the way from about where the butt's at on the fish, all the way up to the top shoulder, and they run on a little bit of an angle like my hand is. So I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna go right along those pin bones on both sides now this is something I like to do just because I don't like to chew through bones personally when I'm enjoying my fish dinner so I like to just make a cut right down each side all the way to the skin and I'm gonna ride my knife you want to just take your time and go slow and you're gonna cut all the way down to the skin patience is the key with this maneuver and that's all I'm gonna do there and that's just gonna allow me to uh, take that bone line out once the fish is finished cooking here so we're gonna do that with both of these flays we're gonna get our charcoal going we'll get our flay seasoned up and get them on the grill okay now for our seasonings here we're just gonna use a few simple ones I just have some regular Morton sea salt I have this red lobster seafood seasoning this is just a seasoning that I like personally I really like it on my fish and I'd probably recommend trying it out and uh, we have some roasted garlic and herb McCormick seasoning as well so we're gonna start off here I'm gonna hit them with a little red lobster make put a nice layer over the top I'm not going too heavy I'm just putting a nice gentle layer over the top now we go to our McCormick roasted garlic and herbs. I really like this seasoning. Put a nice gentle layer over the top, not gonna go too hard. And then at last, we'll hit it with a little sea salt. Like to put a nice generous layer. We got this light instant charcoal here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mound this up. Now, as you can see, they don't make it very easy to mound your charcoal in here. So I'm just gonna put it in with my rubber gloves and then I'm gonna do my best to create a mound. That way it's gonna trap the heat and you'll have a nice solid heat source as your fish is cooking. So let's get it started here. Dude, you never see people cooking on this stuff anymore. Like when I come to parks, charcoal grills, I never see people cooking and I'm like, why it's so fun it's it just is. to go out and just have a little fire just a little fire you know and uh yeah it's just awesome man. i know it is and it just brings such a different taste too there's nothing like the taste of cooking on a charcoal grill there's really oh, not absolutely get that nice absolutely. smoky taste that yeah. nice smoky flavor yes. i love it all right we're rocking and rolling here we're gonna let this burn down for probably 20 minutes, half hour, we wanna let those coals get nice and hot. Usually when they start to get kinda of cherry, they start to burn down so they're a little gray around the edges and that's right when you wanna start cooking. Okay, our charcoal is perfect, it's burned down, the flame is receding and you can just see, look at all the heat here, get in and close and look, look at this, just feel that heat. This is gonna be perfect to cook our fish on. You can see it's just glowing, a nice hot bed of coals and then we're gonna take our fish we're gonna put it long ways right along our mound. I'm gonna bunch up the sides just before it gets too hot. And then we're gonna let that go and we're gonna let that cook until the fish just begins to flake. Now come over here. So we come over here, we have our Bunsen burner. It's a great, great camp tool for cooking coffee, cooking rice. All right, so. We're gonna speed up our cooking process here a little bit. I'm gonna put a layer of aluminum foil on top. And now if you wanted to cook it in kind of a shorter amount of time, just like 15, 20 minutes, it might be best to wrap up the aluminum foil. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Okay, now we're just gonna let that bake like an oven there for a minute. We come over here, we have our rice. Our rice is all nice and fluffy, and that is perfect. Nice. Okay, so before we lose light here, let's uh, let's put our plate together. I'm gonna grab this tailpiece. Look at how buttery and juicy that looks. This will be plate number one. We'll come over to the rice. Oh, getting crazy, dropping everything. We have our tailpiece. I'm gonna grab a nice scoop of rice to go with it. And check this out. We're gonna go get some yeah, butter now. Check this out. We gotta go get some coho butter. This is the best butter available on planet Earth. Drip a little bit of that juicy deliciousness on top of there. And guys, this is gonna be a kick butt salmon dinner here. <laughs> here you go, brother. Thanks, bro. Absolutely. Oh. Here we go. Best taste of Kyle's Fisher. Oh, look at that big bite. Mm. Mm. There's just nothing like a coho. Nothing better than a coho. First bite, little rice, little fish. My goodness, it is just so sweet and so delicious. And with a bite of rice, mm, it just sets it off, man. Wow. Man, well, I tell you what, did that hit the spot. I'm gonna finish this dinner here and uh, go back and get a little shut eye. We are all absolutely exhausted and we're gonna be on the water bright and early tomorrow morning to film another video, which you guys will see next week. But thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to go down below here and hit subscribe so you can see all my upcoming episodes. But until next week, get your butt out here and do an adventure like this. We will see you guys back here at 5 p.m. next Sunday.